Noruka's not even bad. You guys are just mean. What's up guys, it is Dragon Blazer. Today we got a rant video, discussion video, rant, discussion, whatever. One of the two. Um, I wanted to try out videos like these because there are some uh, topics related to Inazuma 11 that really interest me, that I really want to voice my opinion on, and um, yeah, this is the, yeah, this is just one of those, uh, yeah, I guess moments that I, you know, want to voice my opinion on it. So yeah, um, basically, uh, there's going to be, of course, spoilers in the title because this is going to be about Inazuma 11 RS um, stuff. This is about Umihara Norika. Uh, the goalkeeper of the new Raymond, the Ina, the Inakuni Raymond, <laughs> Inakuni, <laughs> Inakuni, I think. Um, probably there, there's a different pronunciation, but who cares? But basically, um, <clears throat> they have this goalkeeper, and she is getting some hate, <laughs> and or at least she is getting some uh, shit talking. And I want to just say. That y'all are just overreacting and extra because this character is, in my opinion, um, I think she is awesome. Um, and I also think uh, that she is not bad, but she is getting a lot of shit thrown at her um, from people and from <laughs> the characters that she is facing. So basically, in um, in Inazuma Eleven Hours, she is the goalkeeper of Raymond, and she is literally trying her best. Um, but the problem here is is that there are so many extremely strong strikers, like legitimately, so many disgustingly strong strikers in Aris that it's like I I cannot I legitimately. <laughs> I, w <laughs> I can't just believe it how many amazing strikers there are in this season there okay basically we have because I am here on the Inazuma wiki so I'm just going to you know um, <laughs> be looking them up real quick as I be going on but we got strikers on enemy teams like uh, Haizaki Haizaki is fantastic he is such a strong striker um, we have Fubuki Atsuya. Uh, Atsuya is fantastic. We got um, Royal Academy. Royal Academy was such it was such a challenge for her. Um, and basically, people are kind of like looking at her as she is losing to all of these characters with these extremely strong moves that are just. <laughs> Bruh, like, I, I just, I can't, I, I really cannot. <laughs> Basically, she is facing shit like Cosmic Blaster, um, Ryusei Blade, The Explosion, what more? Perfect Penguin, um, what, what was it again? Overhead Penguin, um, Twin Boosts here, um, Emperor Penguin number two's there. Like, she is facing so much shit that, I mean, like, can, can you blame her? Can you blame her that she will not stop anything with Uzumaki the Hand? N like, now she does have, um, oh, what is it again? Now she does have, um, oh god, uh, Mermaidville. Now she does have Mermaidville, and we've already seen that she has blocked stuff like, um, Triple Blizzard. Um, which was fantastic, by the way. <laughs> she at least now has um, a stronger move that she can use to uh, defend the goal. But I think this is not a um, Haruna or... Yeah, Haruna, uh, sorry. Um, Norika, sorry. Norika um, is awful thing. This is a... The strikers in RS are fucking stupid thing. Um... I kind of want to, um, what is it again? I kind of want to, like, compare it a bit to, um, Inazuma 11, uh, the first season, uh, or, well, the first generation. The second season where they had to fight against the aliens, it was not that Raymond was bad, it was that 
their teams were stupid and of course yeah it was because of the crystals it was because of the enhanced power but it is not that norika is awful it is that she has to face off against all of these strong shots that are being shot at her it is just insane i just want to immediately say that she is just not terrible she is not bad it's just that everything that is thrown at her is just fucking strong that does not mean she is bad that means that she is just literally ran over by all of these other people that are just stronger than her but she is she is pretty good herself i don't think that she is bad that's just not what i think she has stopped triple blizzard with mermaidville so she is not awful um she has used uzumaki the hand a few times and it has <laughs> it has stopped stuff yeah i know um so yeah basically that it's the same as in uh, the second season where god hand and Majin the hand were just not doing it they were just not doing it they had to just get stronger endo had to just get stronger if he wanted to stop it he was not awful just all of those other shots that everyone was shooting at him were just freaking stupid and at and at some point i have seen people also come um compare uh norika because uh, with uh, endo because of course well raymond's goalkeeper like this a new season so let's say season one now of uh of iris um she is a new goalkeeper and she is like quote unquote now were like she is a terrible um she's a terrible goalkeeper compared to endo um in the first season uh that is something that i just want to say okay th that just doesn't make sense that's just awful because there were th there weren't nearly as strong strikers um as early um as she had to face them um as endo did L because like what what did endo face okay the first uh match was versus like well like the first first one was versus uh royal academy and he got absolutely destroyed at some point he did use god hand and he did stop um death zone so that was really nice then the match after that uh, uh, against occult what did he stop phantom shot okay but is phantom shot perfect penguin is phantom shot overhead penguin is phantom shot triple blizzard like can we talk about that that it, it's just not the same it's just not the same after that they went against um the team full of animal looking people um what did he stop um i don't know uh Tar tarzan kick or something is that all i don't know i know that there was like a um a condor dive but i think that went in because he just he was not there in time like okay so he's so he stopped tarzan kick okay good job all right um yeah that's just also not doing it tarzan kick is not uh, once again it's just not overhead penguin we we can all see that tarzan kick on overhead penguin perfect penguin triple blizzard that's just all on a different level it's just it's just on a different scale then um let's go to another one um let's think uh roy um brainwashing brainwashing like no i think they're they scored like a header and that's it they scored a header then they played really defensively and then later on um they they stopped doing their stalling tactics and playing defensively and then they just lost because i mean they were playing like the real soccer but i mean it wasn't really the strategy so they lost and then inzuma won a uh, scored and then i think also something else that i don't know maybe a fire tornado probably a fire tornado um but yeah um a header went in <laughs> okay um so a header went in Th that's that's another shot then let's go to royal academy okay royal academy had um emperor penguin number two look now we are getting into the stronger moves okay now we are getting into that good shit so emperor penguin number two uh went in that was a secret weapon to absolutely destroy raymond and that was a really good secret weapon at some point at some point of course um mark did block the shot so yeah th that's you know that's with some that's with some plot armor right there <laughs> so yeah that um that's that happened then after that um th they went against the ninja team um okay sorry but the only thing that i remember from the ninja team was dirt ball and dirt ball once again that is just not on the level of triple blizzard or overhead penguin like <laughs> dirt ball is like around the level i guess of patriot shot 
and Patriot shot Norika blocked. So okay, continuing, um, <laughs> we we are now getting into um, Farm Junior High. I think I think Shine Drive went in because the shot literally blinded Endo, and then it went in. So yeah, okay, you got that one. And then um, they still scored, so yeah. Uh, or they still won, Raymond. So, okay, let's continue on. Then we went to Kirkwood. Kirkwood had... Um, they had uh, Triangle Z. Triangle Z just went in. And then at some point, it did get blocked with, um, with like, a similar way how uh, Norika stopped uh, Cosmic Blaster. First, it was the wall that weakened Cosmic Blaster. Then she used Mermaid Veil to try and uh, block the shot. But then, as in that one uh, God Hand that was used in uh, that episode um, that had the... Um, that uh, where they played against uh, Kirkwood, where Triangle Z was used um, the last time, um, Todd and Jack ran, like, they just jumped in, and they helped, um, Endor. And there, then he blocked the shot. And the same thing goes for Cosmic Blaster that first got weakened by the wall, and then she even tried to, uh, catch it with Mermaidville, and then, um, what was it again? Then, um... The, the small fire tornado guy, I forgot his name. Oh my god, that, that is so awful, but I forgot what his name is. Um, but let me think. Okay, let me see, let me see. Uh, Kozomaru and Inamori jumped in to help her. It's the same thing. It's absolutely the same thing there. Like... The only thing, the only thing that is like actually a difference between the season one of um, of Inazuma Eleven and season one of um, Inazuma Eleven Iris is is that the strikers are way better, way better, like a million times better than uh, the one than the ones in the first season. Also, I skipped the team actually. Now that I think about it, the um, the Otaku team was there as well. And um, they used, I think, other goodness bad or something, um, and they scored against Endo because he couldn't reach for the ball. <laughs> so once again, once again, um, Norika has to deal with literally all of these insane, stupid ass shots, and Endo gets um, Tarzan King. So, <laughs> okay, can, we, can we, we, we see the difference here, right? It's not that Norika's bad, it's that literally the other teams are just absolutely insane. It's just that. And they kind of just like, they, they, they just changed the, they, they really just changed how it like kind of goes here with all of these matches. They, instead of, because the first season, it was not about having strong strikers, okay? It was just not about that, especially not at the start. Um, it was just all about these weird tactics and stuff like that and just struggling with your own special moves and then trying to figure out how can we do it? How can we get it going? You know, like in the first um, like the first match, let's say like versus occult from there on we go from uh, occult They use their um, They use like their hypnotic tactic or whatever just to immobilize everyone and that's kind of like how they would win that's that's kind of, that was their thing and then versus um versus the 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 animal team the wild team or something it was like that their their team was like highly concentrated on um on like you know being able to you know fight in the air a lot and apparently like there was no ground there was no air game that um, Raymond had, so they wanted to get, like, a better air game, or, I don't know, I, I really don't exactly know what it was anymore, but, maybe it was a ground game, I don't fucking know, it doesn't matter that much, but, uh, basically, then they tried to figure out, okay, now we need to find a way how to, you know, uh, win in the air, or, you know, like, just, uh, get these goals in, then they, uh, tried Inazuma 1, so it was, once again, not about, um, not about they have strong strikers. It was just, once again, not about that. Then the Otaku team, it was also not anymore about they have strong strikers. It was, again, about they have this tactic, they have this way that they do not, that we cannot score. So, once again, it's just not about that. 
So when we go to um, Royal, then we get into that. Then we get into the, oh my god, they have such strong strikers. Whoa, they have such a good shot. Whoa, 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 we're getting overwhelmed. Whoa, shit, wow. You know, like... Then we're getting into that, whoa, the team is broken, wow, how is Raymond ever gonna win, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, they st they still won, they still won. And then we continue on to, um, to like, the, the more national ones, whatever, <laughs> the FFI, I think, I, I'm not sure, maybe that's in third season, I really don't care anymore. <laughs> um, they, they fought against the ninja team, the ninja team was once again not about um extremely strong um shot power it just was about um just all these ninja tactics to do all types of weird things and confuse and just do this and do that and but it was not about wow they have this specifically extremely strong individual that will destroy us that was just no once again that was not the team then farm was farm especially was not about having a strong offense they were all about defense so they, that's why they all had infinite wall their defense was just so on point and their goalkeeper was just uh this is just stupid just stupid like farm was um yeah it was just basically also about defense it was once again not about having this strong individual that destroys you who is a striker so then we go on to uh let me think to Kirkwood and Kirkwood was about that though Kirkwood was about having strong strikers that will destroy you and having this strong co-op move that will do lots of damage and has a lot of scoring potential and that is that's basically what that match was fully focused on how do we like work around this are we gonna like score if we just have to like you know try and stop the stop that shot and just score as many points um you know as possible um to counter out all the points that we've lost that's kind of how it went um and then of course after that they went against zeus and zeus was just basically the most broken team after that they've ever faced as um as the current raymond but in um in zone 11 rs this is a different thing so in Inazum 11 RS, um, th of course, the first team that I fought against, um, the, the team that uh, Jack was actually on the bench, was literally all about defense. So um, yeah, they, they <laughs> at some point they just uh, scored goals. Just at some point they, they just had to score a goal because the other team was just only about uh, defending. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, if that if that's all, then <laughs> yes, you you would just win at some point with the tactic that the coach had. Um, and then after that, they went against uh, brainwashing, and brainwashing was once again um, that team also was not about having a strong striker. Um, they they just you know they they kind of just had shot pocket and um, patriot shot, but it, it it was not enough, not at all. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, the, that that yeah, Barry watching just wasn't really that big of a deal. Um, but then we then we get into Royal, and Royal just they they just have Emperor Penguin number two. They had how could it shots or something like that. Um, they had um, what was it again? Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Twin boost. Yeah, all of, the, all of those strong shots. From there on, you can just see, oh, okay, whoa, well, now, now they're actually in trouble, you know? And then after that, they fought against Zeus. Lol, okay, like, uh, as if, as if we were gonna actually, you know, have that, <laughs> have <laughs> so much defending potential against Zeus. It was just that we, they just scored more goals than they, than they did. That's just kind of like how it goes. Like, in Iris, it's just like, you will just get destroyed a lot, but you will score more goals than the others. So yeah, that that's kind of how it goes. Because because that that's the only way you gotta do it. Because those characters are already like so strong. These, those characters are already so insanely good. Like uh, God uh, God knows impact. Um, that <laughs> that divine something from that other guy that was a shot that go uh, that scored um it, it's just it, just insane stuff just absolutely insane stuff that um that Nordica just has to deal with um then of course Haizaki perfect penguin and um overhead penguin are 
just enough. <laughs> they they really are. They it's it's enough said. Um, basically that. And then we continue on to Hakuren. Um, I think yeah, Hakuren yeah. And Hakuren, um, I think it's called the Beast Killer. Um, that's a trans that's a translation name. The Beast Killer. Um, Zan, I think that scored, which was just it, it was just super strong. And then after that, yeah, it just became um double white impact. Like, come on, that's a co-op move for crying out loud. And then also, uh, let me think, a, a triple blizzard and the the that other that other shot that that girl shot um that was just like a goal because it was way too fast for um, Uzumaki the hand to actually um get in time all of that stuff i i tell y'all like Monica has a hard ass time and Endel had like what he had royal that was like actually a hard time he had um kirkwood that actually was a really hard time and other than that it re oh, and Zeus, it, it really wasn't too bad for him. It really wasn't. He wasn't struggling too much. Have to be honest. Because all of these other teams that uh, Nautica has to face are just absolutely insane. And from here on out, um, I'm not going to talk about... I'm not going to compare it to the second season or even third season. I'm not even sure to what season people are comparing Nautica to. Maybe maybe they're comparing her to like season three or something and then you're actually fucking insane if you're gonna compare her to season three um, Endo because he was a, he was not actually um, That amazing or that flawless in season one Ma many shots went in many many shots went in um, So yeah from see from season two from season two you can you can notice some you can notice like some actual like really really nice improvement um but yeah, for season three, uh, season three Endo was like the best Endo. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that that is like it, it's just it's just like a little rant that I that I just you know thought of. Um, I do think that Norika, like Endo, has uh, can just grow. Um, if she doesn't, then I mean she doesn't. But she is not awful. She's not terrible. That's just all I'm going to say. Um, because in the because like when. Um, when Endo had his first season, um, many shots also went in, and um, I we all did not think that he was awful. But because we have something to compare, that that makes that like that makes people more inclined. If if you see like oh, but Mark did this, or why do you say Mark? But Endo did this in season three and season two, um, then then some of y'all be starting to compare Norika to him. When he's like in the in, like in that state, and yeah, I I, I don't get it. I, I really don't. I really don't because Norika has a way harder time. <laughs> like in in general, this this new Raymond has a way harder time. It, it, they really do. Like they really really do. They they have to face off against all of these teams with um <laughs> with all of these notable characters that are just so strong, so good. Um. Get reoccurring characters that just fight um, in other teams that were in Raymond, like Kazamaru, um, like um, oh god, what what was his name again? Why why do I forget? <laughs> Somioka. Um, those two characters were great, um, and yeah, basically, yeah, that that's just that's just kind of my rant on it. <laughs> that's just kind of my rant. Oh, and also, of course, now that we we have seen these characters before. Um, like Fubuki, like sort of Atsuya then as well, um, like um, Fudo, uh, uh, Genda, uh, Sakuma, all of these characters, um, what was again, um, I, forgot, I forgot his Japanese name actually, but Jude, um, all of these characters that we just know that are just good, that are just going to, that are just going to stay good of course. Um, and that's why, that's why, like, you see Raymond just getting their ass whooped all the time. But that's just kind of like, you have to, you have to keep these characters in, like, their original, their original glory. But there has to be some type of way to, for, like, Raymond to win. So, of course, you know, they are, <laughs> they are getting their, they are getting their goals here and there. And, yeah, I don't know. 
There's just kind of like my rant on it. But um, I want to know what you guys think. Because, of course, I could be absolutely wrong. And I don't even care, but... I thought that this was something notably that I uh, that I could say about Norika. Um, I was really happy about her uh, improving, that she was realizing that Uzumaki the Hand was not doing it, so she had to try harder. And then she got Mermaidville. And, you know, there, there, there are these other ways that Raymond is trying to help her out, you know, the moment where she used uh, Mermaidville and... You know, the other people were just jumping in, Inamori and Kozomaru, um, and uh, yeah, it's other stuff like that, and that it got weakened by the wall, of course. Like, this Raymond is also getting stronger and stronger, so that, you know, it, it, it'll also help out the goalkeeper here and there. We've seen it. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I want to hear you guys' opinion on this, and I will talk to you guys in another, yeah, in another rant. If you guys have anything that, um, that you guys want want to hear me rant about or talk about um, then put it down in the comments below i would love to hear what you guys uh, have to say i would love to hear what you guys have as scan arguments or if you guys actually agree with me and stuff like that um yeah that's uh that's kind of just like all i wanted to hear or all i wanted to see so hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys later goodbye